morning. We're starting the day off with a little bit of road trip. We're going up to Hughes Equipment to pick up my truck. So it was actually done last Friday, but it wasn't done till afternoon and we were running beans. So this is Monday, October the 10th, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go after today. Hopefully get back here in time, run some beans. About two hour drive up or two hour drive back. It's seven o'clock right now. So we should be back in time. A little bit of fog this morning, not too bad though. So. Hopefully get something accomplished when we get back. Well, that was a big solar farm. Was this one 1,500 acres? Right around this area, there's about four or five thousand acres worth of solar panels in this probably five mile square mile area. Beautiful. 175, 62. Uh, you'd have to expect that with uh, what we've got going with the higher prices already here this morning up here. Ah, we're back. Been a while. Now, if I just had all my tools in this thing, we'd be ready to do something, but. <laughs> That probably won't happen until a rain day. You're about like a buzzard. What the f is it? Ain't nothing in it. I just got it. Well, geez, you. Why didn't you have them to fill it up with tools? That's a good point. I never thought of that. Jeez. Snap one, too. Uh, don't put that on camera. How <laughs> about that? It's gonna get your Bengals report. Oh, we're good. It's a classic AFC North dogfight. So was the 152 to three prediction a little off? Might have missed a mark hair. <laughs> Heard they lost by three or two. Two. Uh, two. Last ah, second field goal. Questionable play calling. But yeah, that's what it is. Turns out the sun came up this morning and here I am. You're way more calm. I wish I would have got to you about nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Uh, if you'd have got to me at 11.30, it would not have been fit for YouTube. <laughs> so if any of you have ever wondered why we keep Brian around, that's the reason right there. He's doing a fine job. He's doing a great job. He's doing a better job up there and I am running this camera. Now remember at home, if he falls, we gotta make sure he's okay first before we laugh. Not really, he's probably not gonna be okay. Hey, I just got done taking my climbing harness off, did some high up work and couldn't take you guys with me. Had a cushion box on one of the grain bins. It's always leaking from the cushion box. We're actually leaking. There's a hole worn in the bottom of the bin lid Basically, it's where that grain's coming down that pipe and hitting a piece of metal on the bend door. Uh, really, nothing we can do right now, so a quick duct tape patch job, and we're going to see if it'll hold. We're going to go run these beans right down there. These aren't wheat fields, but by the time we got done getting my truck, getting everything situated back here, it's uh, 1.30. Actually, 145. We got a five-mile move to do the next future wheat field. So we're just gonna make that move tomorrow morning while we're waiting on the dew. And we're gonna run right here since it's close. Trying to optimize time, basically. We're gonna attempt to clean some windshields because I can't hardly see. I thought we'd have more time in this, but dad's done there running. It's gonna be a quick clean to get us by. I think this is the third or fourth day in a row I've said that, but I believe there's a squeegee and a ladder. Maybe there ain't a squeegee. Wonder if he's got Dad usually keeps one in his pickup. I ordered me one, but it ain't here yet. Oh, there we go. We might be able to see today. Now we're cleaning this with dirty fuel pump water. I said because the, the water jug is right beside the fuel pump. And that'd have to be real, real close to death before I drink that.
while not perfect, we can see we just have to look around the streaks now. You know, like I said, not perfect, but better. It's going around this field over here. Oh, phone call. Well, my reel is so wrapped up now that it won't spin anymore. It's stalled. This head is quickly getting on my nerves. All right, we got her unwound. So a soybean stem is not a very strong stalk until you get a few hundred of them wrapped real tight together. Then they're a real pain in the butt. But we got her off there, now she's spinning free. But these beans are just kind of tough. Keeps wrapping up. I've sped up my reel, I've slowed down my reel, I've picked up my reel, I've put down my reel. I've turned up the air on the air reel, I've turned down the air. I've moved the reel back, I've moved it forward. It just doesn't seem to really matter. Look at them pretty beans. Nice and clean. Big, beautiful beans. <laughs> so the beans are a pretty large bean this year just because of the way the weather worked. And they're kind of heavy this year. Oh man, George is hopping in the grain cart. Now don't get your hopes up. He ain't coming back to work. He's just hanging out. We're combining right beside his house. So I think we finally got it in a position where it won't wrap. We'll know when we turn around because going this direction with it out here on the end, it's not really a problem. But when that side of the head is in the beans, like on both sides, it's, uh, it's an issue. Not sure if it's fertility or plant date or what, but... This field, like just about every spot in it, has been in the mid 80s, which will make this our best field. We're still wrapping a little bit, but not nearly as bad. So maybe, maybe this is the, the right spot. Reel all the way out, way faster than I want, and way higher than, eh, it's about as high as it needs to be, I guess, but I guess that's what we gotta do. So for some reason, dad's monitors, oh, I just signed out. Huh, right as I was saying that. See an exclamation point? It means we're no longer connected. So we still have steering, but I was about to point out that Dad's monitor is not connected to the cloud right now, so we're not sharing AB lines. Must be a bad spot right here, but anyways, that's why we're a little off. Our AB lines are pretty close. We both just kind of guessed with that sprayer track, uh, and uh, we we're you know we were pretty close within a couple feet, but not perfect. That's less than ideal. That's a record coffee stain for me. Last pass of this 60, and we will be moving on. There's another 54 acres right across the driveway, but I think we're gonna go finish the field that we were running yesterday. Uh, we've got enough beans that are dry that we can blend off any that are wet. So we're just gonna go ahead and do them while we're here. Those are butter beans. We're gonna have about two acres right there we're not gonna be able to do right now. Because at one point they were up to 26% and I thought maybe we should turn around. So uh, right along those tree lines, it's just super, super moist, moist. So three rounds off of the trees, we're back down to 13%. If it was just a small patch, we'd blend it in. I, I don't know about doing that much though. So. Lots of visibility. So it's 6.30 here, we've got about 35 acres left in this field, probably just a guess. I'm not sure how many acres that's done. But um, between two combines, that's about two hours. Yeah, yeah, probably about hour and 45 minutes or so, two hours maybe. Hopefully we can finish this. That'd be awesome. That'd be, for going up there after that truck, getting back here, not getting started till two o'clock, that'd be a pretty, pretty decently productive day. It'd be like 130 some acres today, 134 acres, 135 acres. So for the late start, not bad. But we we'll just have to see how tough it gets. Uh, looks like the dust is moving. There's still a little bit of air movement. That's gonna be key, because we're in the shade already. And like I said, it's only 6.30. Ooh, slugging it. So up here, we can see evidence of an air seeder. I think, I can't remember what happened. I think I ran out of seed right here, if I'm remembering correctly. With our air seeder, when you run out of seed, you could, like I just switched to the other seed delivery box and start planting a different variety. But 
there's a delay. Apparently I didn't wait enough for that seed to start leaving that other seed box and get to the unit and we ended up with a blank spot. Live and you learn. Starting to get cold. I can tell that because I'm getting cold. I gotta turn my air conditioner down. Probably can't tell in this video, but there's a beautiful harvest moon. If I was real photogenic, I would get out in this dust and go take a picture for you guys, but do you see all that dust? Yeah, I don't feel like getting that itchy for a picture. Don't want to touch the tips. That'd be disastrous. Get bad into a good day. That it? What's up down there? Hot dog. So I think we just did 140 acres in like six hours. Not bad. Not too shabby. Forgot about these little guys. They're gonna get disappear. We can't leave those there. It looks trashy. Man, these lights are bright, but only when the head's down. I can't see a thing right now. I just see the just see the head. Can't really see anything past it. There is a skunk around here somewhere. I hope we don't find Pepe Le Pew. But this is a good time to try out. Oh, there's my strobe lights. Thank you there. Let's turn that one off. What's this one? Compartment lights. Cargo lights. Where are the cargoes? Uh, okay, cargo lights are just our running lights. Cargo lights off, and let's go with the boom. Floodlights. That is a nice work light. So we decided to put those on kind of last minute, but they, uh, they do a great job. Kind of defeats the purpose of the uh, cargo light. Well, you might be able to use that cargo light without blinding somebody. Now let's check out our compartment lights. If you're looking at a Hughes bed, I highly recommend these. Right now, that's the only piece of uh, any kind of useful thing in this bed right now, like in the storage, or <laughs> that pair of gloves. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you would, do us a favor and thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back here again. There's more work to do. There'll be another video. We'll see you then.